What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Uh, we gotta cleanse our palette after yesterday, which makes me think... Could pick something fun, something powerful. Clown is interesting. A lot of people want to see me do a Sin Clown run. I've done one off camera. It's very good. <laughs> it's really, really, really good. Um, so that's the thing I could do. Who do I want to take with me? I could bring the shield. Could bring little bone. Although um, we want a powerful swap to make up for our weak swap. Also, we already got the best clown ability. We're out the gate, so can't go wrong there. Take the usual. Um, you can go either magic or physical with the clown. Generally leaning physical, but like you can make just as much use of like the clown's um, knife, like passive with a magic run and it still be just as good really honestly like clown is really one of the truly like mixed skulls so what is this shield ability let me i get them oh it's the parry not horrible um i'm, I'm kind of like a, a bit of like a parry noob if i'm being honest with you i've talked about it before it it's like it's like a game a flow of gameplay i'm not used to doing um though i should get good at them i think parries are a lot better in hard mode than they were in normal mode Especially in, say, like, the Leona sister fight. I can imagine parries being really good. But, um, still, you know, it's a me problem. I'm just not good at them. So, maybe that could be a thing we work on this episode. Though I'm not committing to either of these, obviously. I always say that. Like, it could go either direction from here. Or, when I say either direction, any direction. Either direction implies there's, uh, set options ahead of me. There's not. It can do anything. That's the fun of it. That's what I was talking about yesterday. You know, like the RNG uh, is something I really enjoy about roguelites. So, yeah. I always say it, the world is our oyster. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is like the worst disaster of all time. Um, wow. Though this is pretty annoying for me to deal with. Both of my skulls are bad at this uh, dealing with these guys, especially a Dark Elite. But we did it. Um, his fault for being a disaster, let's be honest. Also, I, I'm not... Are people, sh f like, messing around with me when they say, like, there's a secret, um, like, like a, a extremely rare, um, prefix called Legion? Because, like, I've had multiple people tell me it exists, and I've still never seen it. And I play, I play this a lot, man. Like, it must be ultra rare if people are actually being real with me, and it actually does exist. Or it's, like, an elaborate, you know, screw with hacks a bit. Which, hey, it's working because I, I believe it. <laughs> but but if you guys are messing with me, I gotta know. Um, I'm hoping I see it eventually. It sounds interesting. Like, that there's still something I've yet to see in uh, in the Dark Mirror. It keeps it exciting. You know, whenever we're in that content. Like, you know, we're all settling in. We're all getting familiar with the uh, Dark Mirror. We, we feel like we've uh, experienced all it has to offer, but apparently not. Also, that is... Um, an opportunity for me to take the uh, slime staff and I think I've talked about this um, in an episode that made it to my channel I know I've talked about it in recording attempts oh oh please die oh my word what the heck bro what the actual heck okay we gotta get out of here what what happened in this room oh dude I almost Okay, I don't like this. I'm gonna be fully upfront and real. This is not good. This is really bad. I'm gonna. Fr no, wait, no! I want. I'm gonna restart this room. Okay, um, <laughs> I restarted this room. Call me a cheeser. Um, I'll even show the footage. Um, I didn't re- okay, so here's what happened. Okay, I took a ton of damage in this room, like a ton of damage. Uh, I was almost dead. Um, and I, I, uh, the slime is in this room, and I wanted to get the slime staff, the, uh, the secret, you know, kind of quote-unquote secret item that he has that you get if you, uh, use him with no items in your inventory. But I accidentally, in the heat of the moment, and, like, the desperation that was happening in the room, uh, freed him before I delete all of my items, and, um, that made me restart the room. You can be like, hacks, 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 you're cheating, hacks, you're cheating, because you almost died and you restarted, hacks, that's cheating, which... Technically, you're right, but it's not the reason I did it. I did it so I can get this um, very rare item. So, you know, 
you know, feel free to call me out. But um, I did it for the for the content, you know. And yes, you know what? Maybe I'll take a lot of damage on purpose. You know what? That I'll I'll make it up. I'll, I'll <laughs> fix the deficit here, cause just to show that I'm doing this in good faith. The brambles are here. I could take damage on purpose. Um, we'll go to 16. There. All right. So now everyone's happy. The Haxa didn't cheat on purpose. I took the damage again. Um, we're, you know, we're, we're back on it. We're back on that desperation grind. And I'm probably going to lose my life. Um, you know, I don't still honestly don't know what happened um, in that room originally. It's pretty <laughs> insane that I took that much damage. But um, I'll accept the results. Uh even though I don't think it's fair, like straight up, I don't know what happened to me. I'm not even like, like I, <laughs> I think I maybe I got hit by a bunch of instances of like different damages on the screen at once, and it just ended up with me like taking all of my HP away from me. But it's looking like we were, you know, based on what's happening here, um, it wouldn't have mattered regardless. So I guess that's a good thing. And I didn't cheat, so. <laughs> You know, everyone's happy. We got we got our content. Uh, I did it all fair and square. And, you know, it is what it is. That's a thing that happens with me. It's like, if the room is crazy and, like, I'm desperate for my life, um, I'll often, like, make uh, little mini, like, micro mistakes that I didn't mean to. Like, um, forgetting to free uh, an NPC that I should to like make it more likely that I see other NPCs down the line though I don't even know if that's true necessarily I don't like I think what I would wager is ha is happening behind the scenes in this game is like every NPC has like a set um, value of how often they can show up and um, like even if you free a NPC like the other NPC can still like it still has the same percentage chance to show up and every npc is like on a percentage chance to show up so i don't think freeing the npcs actually does anything but maybe it does i don't know maybe i'm just uh coping also sorry about that pause there i had to uh, blow my nose okay um what are we looking for here some physical damage some good physical this is swap based which is not necessarily good on the clown he's not a good swapper but it's still good in general, so I'll take it. And kind of regretting not saving my money to get this medallion. I might sell this. To, actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to sell this. Buy this. Buy this. Um, I just value the early Carleon medallion so much. Like, it's really just invaluable, honestly. Thankfully, it's not the mage. It's the hunter instead. Um, we have a much easier time hitting the hunter with both of these skulls than we would the mage. So, good stuff. It's easier on me even though i would say overall this is the harder fight between like the mage and the um and uh, act one mage and act one um hunter like uh, act one hunter is certainly harder do you see that by the way that parry that was kind of beautiful i'm not gonna lie i'm giving myself credit there i was i was clean with it watch your head watch your head we're probably not committing to poison or anything like that not with the clown the clown is like a very raw damage skull. Like the clown, you just want to build damage and stack it high. Or crit. You can do crit stuff with clown too. Um We don't have relic. We do have mana cycle. Uh this is still uh, yeah, I think I convinced myself there. That's probably better than um than like just taking a generic five bone shards or a yeti. We're not really going magic. We're not super worried at this stage in the game about five bone shards. And we got really good abilities here. I'm really happy with uh, this clown so far. I'm really happy with this run so far. I should just kind of blanket statement that because we got um, a really cool item to start us out here. Like we got something interesting going here. I'm hoping this run uh, is successful. Okay, please uh, chill. Why is this being so cruel? I'm going to let the um, Glacial Wizard die. Get you. Get you. Alright. Good enough. Um, we do have the Slime Staff. I was... Okay, we got, we got a Critter there. I was hoping we'd come across the big Mushroom guy so I can show off the Critterification of him. 
I don't think I've actually gotten to use this in a video that's made it to my channel yet, so... Oh! If you're unfamiliar with the power of the slime staff in hard mode, you're about to be in for a treat. It's very, very good. What do you got for me? Max HP? Attack speed? Good. We'll take it. Never a damage percent. Just, uh... The devs never fixed it. They lied. <laughs> they said they'd look at it, and if they did look at it, there's no way they wouldn't have noticed the problem. So, like, the devs just... You know, whoever the admin was... I, you know, it's hard to say if they're a dev or like just a Discord admin, but they didn't tell the st they didn't tell the uh, the people when I brought it up to them. <sighs> We're gonna be stuck with this glitch forever. Honestly, the spokesman of the mist just kind of needs a revamp in general, where like give it some more stats. A uh, skill cooldown would be cool. Um, swap speed or alternating speed, I guess as it's called now, would be cool. Basically, it just feels kind of outdated, in my opinion. It's kind of like a relic. Ah! See, I'm just so bad with parries. I thought I had that, but nope. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not good with it. You know, I, I did the clean parry earlier, and that was like a one-time, that was a one-time deal. Get that fool. All right, here's the chance where, I, if I don't mush this guy, we're going to get a guaranteed critter. Um... Frankly speaking, it's probably better to just mush him, but as you saw there, you can hit him as many times as you'd like when he's not mushed down. And if he hasn't taken any damage, you can just uh, instantly critterify him, and it's pretty fun. Is it good? Well, yeah. It, it's not like super good or nothing, but it's fun. It's, it's a fun thing to do. Um. Okay. Who needs a legendary? <laughs> That's a really good start to a clown build. That's pretty interesting we're on to something here i'm also gonna buy this i'm a little worried mm. do one refresh and instantly regret it we would have had uh i would have been happier with the 10 bone shards not that it's a super big deal or nothing like we're fine missing out on some bone shards i've actually missed out on a couple of bone shards oh did you see me critter oh never mind i thought i critterified the um the thingy here also, we just, like, <laughs> we backed that guy up into the brambles, man. That was beautiful. I love getting kills like that. Just, like, weird little things like that in um, Skull are fun. Okay. Can you, uh, thank you? I really don't. Oh, okay, we critter fought him. I was about to say I don't like fighting uh, uh, that enemy in general with either of these skulls. Sure thing. Why not? I did get that. Okay, I was about to say. I thought for a second I picked up Genie's Chain Sickle. I was about to be, like kind of uh not happy <laughs> also don't worry i'll free the npc although i do think my uh my assessment is correct and it doesn't necessarily matter um if you free npcs along the way because like all npcs i think have different variances of showing up that's why the slime is rarer than like you know the the, the ability swappers for instance um i think i'm actually going to use her though like, uh, I want to get a better ability on my shield. And if I can get a good one, I'll commit to this. Beautiful. That's the one I want. That's my favorite shield ability. I might, uh, yeah. Well, it depends on what this is. Okay. I'll commit to the shield. I think. I'll at least bring it up to rare? Eh. I don't know. I probably, I don't know. It feels like having the shield, which has an, a phenomenal swap, if not one of the best swaps in the whole game, to, like, kind of pair up with this horrible swap on the clown could be pretty good also we're going to destroy yiki for the record um clown with jack in the box obliterates yiki look at that <laughs> it's pretty interesting yiki stands zero shot though i guess i shouldn't get too ahead of myself here because um anything can happen really i don't know i feel confident especially with this mana cycle making my jack in the box i have like extremely high uptime this is going to be good. We can stop him before he ults. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, we already have Mutant too. Okay, guys, this run's already off to... Uh, I, this run has the Hacks of Seal of Approval. I'm going to be real. Compared to yesterday, <laughs> this run is, uh, is good with it. Just be cautious um, of his attacks. Swap often. Get both of these skulls out here doing stuff. Okay, I don't like that, but we did have a lot of shield thanks to the shield. 
swap. I think the shield at common gets more shield on his swap than um, other skulls do. Not super confident about that. Okay, we're gonna ignore his ultimate and kill him. <laughs> you think you're so sick with it, don't you, Yagi? But no, nope. you can't do anything to me. I'm too good. Oh yeah, we also had the food helping me here too. I forgot about that. That's why my cooldown felt so like extremely low. Look at this, by the way. Half a Fulgent. We're also offered a Shadow Knights, but obviously I'm going to take half a Fulgent. Like, come on. <laughs> Get real. And look, we have seven uh, Dark Quartz thingies. So that's good. Oh, and a Melanophobia? Oh my word. Okay. Melanophobia with, by the way, the um, the Slime Staff. Um, Is there anything else I want here? For two, Put Pocket could be worth it. Um, could take this, though, I don't, yeah. Super Baby's fun and all, and I like Super Baby, but I also rely on it a lot. Could take Silent Cries, but I don't think it's worth it. Go-Getter is always generally worth it, at least. We do have the Kyrian. Uh, I'll take the Put Pocket, though. It's going to help me in the short term. I'm just a big Put Pocket fan. It's grown on me a ton. It's, uh, it's a lot stronger than I thought it would be. Maybe that's why they nerfed it. <laughs> Maybe I, they saw something I didn't. And, but still, you know, RIP put pocket. Oh, we got both of the abilities I like. Okay, this is going to be good, guys. I already feel it. As long as we don't get screwed over in Act 2, which is always possible. Act 2 is mean. But, uh, oh, stuff like that uh, can always ruin your day in Skull Hero Slayer. And also look at this Melanophobia uh, action going on here. But early Melanophobia, like this runs off to the races. This could end up being one for the uh, one for the books, guys. I'm not gonna uh, even front here. This is good stuff. Stun and get Jack in the Box. You fool! Uh, if we could just get Sin, that would be so good. Sin Clown is insane. Like I understand why my audience was like very uh, asking a lot for it. If especially with Jack in the Box, it does so much damage. And really goes to show, like, how uh, much the clown having the magic passive, uh, if you're not building strictly mixed, that is, hinders it. If you're building a mixed run, which is very easy to do in Skull the Hero Slayer, it's something I pretty much rant about nonstop and try and push the wisdom onto my uh, audience. But, like, uh, mixed runs in Skull are pretty much, I would say, uh, easier than just doing Sin stuff, which is part of the reason why I'm kind of, like, Iffy on Sin, I don't dislike Sin. It's good, especially on the right build, but it's like most of the time you're better off just building mixed. It's easier, it's more consistent. Really the whole problem with Sin is that it's inconsistent and rare. So hopefully we actually get lucky and get it. Also, we can transform this fool uh, if we just, yeah. Uh, you If you attack him from the front, these guys as well for the record. Um, and don't deal damage to them. You can actually critterify them, uh, and it's, I think, easier. It's f more fun. So regardless if it actually helps you, it makes you uh, enjoy the game. And that can always, you know, that's always worth considering when playing Skull. Is what's the fun option? And you know what? What I just said about Sin. Uh, Sin is the fun option, like ninety percent of the time. So who knows? You know. If I see Sin, I'll probably try and find a way to fit it onto the build, unless the build is just so hyper, like, uh, specialized that I can't. Also, that is a Cyclops. We are getting all kinds of good stuff. Let's look for the Lunar Ring. I'm not going to worry about, like, Masterpiece or anything like that. Some of this stuff is tempting. Let's keep going. Okay, well, there's where we stop. <laughs> and look at this. Oh my god, what a shop, what a shop, what a freaking shop. Can't go wrong with that, that's beautiful. This run is off to the races, guys, I'm just gonna say it. I already said it, and I'm gonna say it again. This is like a run. Maybe one for the books. We're already getting Melanophobia scaling. We have both of the shield abilities we like. We have um, probably both of the best clown abilities. Uh, now that stun is so good, I would actually say that's probably true. Like, we kind of, we're getting everything we want. It's all, it's all making up for yesterday. Also, I should have let him summon some guys so I can farm uh, farm some stuff off of him. 
Um, I was considering, like, Masterpiece would spread me too thin. I don't think I can afford to take it. Like, we, we already have so much going on here that is, like, very wide. I just don't think Masterpiece can work on a run like this. It would cause me to have to delete too many items. Okay, we did not open this. I thought I did. All right. Um, I wonder if I would take, like, a, a symbol of toughness. Probably not. That's useless, almost, on the clown. But, um, I w I'm curious what double symbol of toughness looks like in current Skull. It used to be one of the most, if not the most broken thing you could do in the whole game. But they nerfed it, rightfully so. You know, no, no, uh, disagreement there. It deserves it. But, uh, I'm curious if it's still good. More than likely it is. The effect is just powerful in general. Um, okay, we are obliterate. She's dead. <laughs> like, I, she just died over there? Or did he knock her around? I, I thought she was behind him when I killed her. That's good. That's good, too. Give me your uh, legendary, sir. Okay, that's not quite what I had in mind. It's not terrible, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'll just break it for money. But yeah, 69, by the way. You know, we, we got the meme number. We achieved greatness. It's, it is what it is. I'm proud. It's a proud moment for me. All right, we're going to critterify these fools, I think. We're going to try, at least. The more attacks we're doing, the more likely we are to critterify. Okay, well, he can't be critterified now. Sadly, we did critter. We, we got a bunny. You know, you can't go wrong with that. Ah, okay, we got to do something about that. I should not let him be prowling around over there up to no good. He's gonna—he's cooking up something. You know he is. Okay, there he goes. My man was ready with it, but it didn't matter. We got him. God, we are... This run feels so good, guys. <laughs> After yesterday, oh my word. And also, I had it extremely powerful. Um, <clears throat> I might start record, uh, recording my off-screen sessions and maybe make some YouTube shorts. Uh, are you guys into YouTube shorts? Either way, it would... And also TikTok. I need to get on TikTok. There's so much I need to do. <clears throat> but yeah, I had a really powerful run before I started uh, this recording with Living Armor. It was really fun and really good. Oh, Living Armor and um, and the Mage, <clears throat> who is very good. I had my reservations about Mage. Um, I thought maybe he would be a lot worse in hard mode. Just because of like his flow of gameplay being kind of cumbersome. But he's good. The Mage is good. You just have to know what you're doing with it. If you don't know what you're doing, you can get into some trouble, but... Also, let's, uh, get that before I forget, and then my audience yells at me. How did we- how did we critterify that guy? How did we do that? He was- he took damage. I saw him take damage. Did he get- oh, he might have gotten healed by, uh, one of these guys over here. Oh, that's a strat. I wasn't even thinking about that. Arms and chase ain't bad. Um, that is, like, a... 70% less um, Heroes Holy Sword, but we're not going to take it. Take that, though. And what is the... Oh, wait, what? Hang on. We're cooking. We're cooking. Um, what do I do here? We got Arms 5. We're going Arms 6. I don't think I can do it here, though. Ugh, so... Wait! Oh, no, no, no! I didn't see that. I didn't see that. <laughs> wait, hang on. Uh, we can get rid of this. Sure. Thank God that's enough. Okay. All right. Now we have Folded Dawn. Guys, this is insane already. Clone step with arms on it. So much is going right. Swap there. We're going to destroy him. Oh, we got Evil Sword 2. Oh, dude. Okay. You know, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Um, but I feel pretty good about this, Leona. I'll be real. <laughs> um... Obviously, it's still the Liana sisters, and they're still horrible. But I think we're going to probably obliterate them. We have Evil Sword Cure. We have, um, well, let's see. We got this, which is insane. 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 Though it doesn't help against the Liana sisters. Not really. I mean, it's not bad against them. It gives me mutants, but uh, it doesn't have any active benefit on the fight. Also, more than likely, even though this is more of a clown run, I'm probably going to upgrade the shield first because his upgrade to legendary is way more impactful. 
than the clowns upgrade to legendary. So, yeah, that's going to happen. Hopefully this goes well. Um, like, there's so much that could that is going right about this run that I don't think this could go bad. But who's to say? It's the Leona sisters. They're a nightmare. Like, we have lots of shield generation. We have Cyclops to sh generate even more shield. We have so much damage, it's kind of insane. Oh! oh, 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 oh I didn't look! I wish I'd never looked. The cursed number. That bodes bad. Okay, hang on. I'm getting... <laughs> I'm being a dumbass. Let's be careful. Um, I have no reason to not kill this Leona sister because we're going to pretty much obliterate phase two as well. So like no strategy against for like stopping the first one and then, you know, killing the almost killing the other one and then doing that. I don't think it's necessary. Swap there. Do that. Do that. Let's not get too cocky, though. Um, I'd like to go into this next portion of the game with a lot of HP, and doing stuff like that will not net me a lot of HP. As long as I don't take too much more than what we've already taken, we should be fine. Okay, that was... Uh, if we had walked to the other side, we would have easily dodged that, but I didn't notice it until it was too late. But we dodged it anyways, who cares? Um, good, that was good, that was excellent. You really can't ask for much better. Well, I mean, aside from the damage we accidentally took, but who cares? Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. That gives me arms and rapidity. Where's my rapidity coming from? Oh, this, okay, well then that's permanent, yeah. <laughs> that's excellent. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> also, keep in mind, we're not done scaling with Melanophobia either. This is how higher... Okay, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get off the curse number. This is the second time I've seen Shyness. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, this looks like a complete set to me. <laughs> I might get rid of Pup Pocket later, because it's looking like, honestly, we won't need it. I think I'd rather have Collection Desire, maybe? Probably. Um, so that might be on the chopping block later, but for now it's going to be an enormous boon. And there's no point in letting the four dark quartz stuff float in between Act 3 and Act 4. We are at full HP. We're feeling good. We're dominating. Like, our, our run is crazy with it. But we critterified a, a Transcendent, a Frieza. Um, they, life is good. Also, let's go up there and deal with this guy before he rains down Fortnite juice on me i'm not interested in that get out of here with your fortnite shit and what you know like i said in the previous video why did that shit hurt dog in fortnite that shit help this is the fallen universe like the, <laughs> the split timeline fortnite theory and skull hero slayer is like the the dark timeline tomato time like this is like in the distant past and tomato town <laughs> is like a, a carleon in the future Dude, I'm making a video right now. I'm cooking it up. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's real, too. Very real and true. Halfling. We're going to leave you there. You showed up at the wrong moment. We'll see you again. Wait, does she have a little bird? Oh, look at the bird. I hate leaving her. It's so sad. Especially after the cutscene at the start of the Dark Mirror, which was just adorable. Like, you know, it feels even worse. I hope those other... Um, like characters like find some kind of place in the story or i don't know maybe they can become fixtures in the demon king castle something i really honestly don't get why they've never done is like why is the demon king castle so barren like it could be like a really cool hub that um that like they could breathe a lot of life into and for some reason in the dark mirror they didn't do that and i honestly thought they would it's kind of weird oh you know actually i just noticed something doesn't duel or a master brawler or fighter i can't remember doesn't it kind of look like this guy's head is anyone else noticing that like it kind of it's like very similar to him i'm only noticing it now that i'm seeing it on the ground maybe we'll see it in um in like uh another area like a shop or something and i can really kind of point it out oh there it is okay it kind of looks like him like, not as much as I thought, but it's close enough. 
I'm still right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not wrong. You can't say I'm wrong. Don't say it. Um, okay, I can't afford this anyway. I would maybe consider taking this instead of keeping the Cyclops, but Cyclops is pretty good. Like, I'm a fan, so let's just hold on to it for a while. Okay, you are getting dunked on, sir. Oh, a Transcendent getting critterified again. You know, you, gotta, you, you love to see it, frankly. As they say, you love to see it. Also, look at the bone shards we got. Why is everything on this run going so correct? Like, literally every aspect of this run that could be going right is going right. And I'm, I'm honestly a little scared. Like, how how, how is this run so good so far? Vibes up big. Like, it's, it, the vibes are immaculate on my end. Except that common. That common vibe. Vibe killer common. But hopefully we don't see another one of those. Uh, that's beautiful. Get Cyclops. Oh, my Cyclops isn't up yet. I lied. Do not get Cyclops just yet. Um, let's go deal with her. I should have been doing this from the start. Swap on that Mother Hubbard. She's dead. Um, you, you cannot protect her. I don't care how much you want to. You can't stop me. And you're dead. Beautiful stuff. Um, where's the Hunter? Uh, she got... <laughs> What the hell happened to her? Did it? I'm gonna have to review the VOD for that. That was odd. <laughs> she just went flying. Okay, 23 bone shards. Can't go wrong with that. We're gonna start scaling Arachna. Do I dare scale my uh, damage percent? It'd be pretty funny. Oh wait, that's the wrong skull. All right, now we got both of our legendaries. Every skull shard we get moving forward is um going right into uh, Arachna. And also, I just want to point out, um, our item build is pretty much complete. Maybe even literally complete. Um, this is kind of something I try and drill into the heads of my audience a lot. Um, Y'all focus on items too much. And, and, like, your build struggles for it. Though I think people more and more are starting to build Arachna. But my point is, if you're going to scale your Arachna all the way up, why not build a second skull to Legendary just... Just for the heck of it, right? You know, give it a shot. Like, I'm always trying to instill these these things into my audience's uh, head. Also, we're probably going to get an ultimate golem here. Um, I don't think I can kill these guys quick enough. And we critterified one of them. I don't know if that activated the other one as well. I don't hear him over there, so maybe not, actually. I think we're fine. But yeah, build two skulls of legendary. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you know, it's the Hacks of Mantra. The, end, the whole reason I started this channel is to show my unique gameplay style. Um, and it's never been easier. And obviously this is a high roll. Like, I'm not going to deny that. Also, do I want that? Nah. We don't have enough crit. This could be good. What's my mutant stuff? This. Could it be better than that? Probably not, actually. I like the damage percent. We'll just uh, break a, a unique and be on our way. But, um... Yeah, y'all, uh, y'all screw up, man. Um, it's like, after all, oh, 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 oh my word. Holy crap, dude. Um, disaster was obliterating me there. Literally all that damage was to disaster. So, uh, pretty nasty. I think, well, I mean, we're fine. We're almost to a shop. We can just heal it off, but that would have been a very tilting way to lose, uh, this god run, you know, like the absolute almost guarantee victory to something that stupid. That would, uh, that would not be fun. That would ruin the vibes. Okay, we're going to look a little bit in here. How much does this cost? Okay, well then we're going to buy this. And we're going to buy... Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> what? No, okay, whatever. <laughs> sure, man. Sure. I I'll accept it. I should have done the, the, the freaking like ridiculous amount of math that had to be done there to do the most optimal play so are we gonna be able to I'm, I'm curious if you can critterify this guy but it's looking like he already yeah he already took damage um i'm wondering if you can hit his like outer skeleton and um critterify him probably not but uh it's is he not dead oh he got stunned that's what happened to him whenever you stun them he closes up and reopens again i don't know why it's probably not intended.
But here's the thing, okay? Something I realized recently. Um, the fact that the patches are coming out soon, uh, or I mean the console uh, updates, or at least the, the PlayStation was teased, which means the consoles are probably not super far behind. Um, we're probably not getting a uh, any more patches for the 1.7 cycle. Because it, it, it's very hard for them to get their, their updates out on consoles. So generally, whenever they start releasing console, it means they're done. So 1.7.1 is probably all we're getting. Consoles might get an emergency patch. Sometimes that happens. Like, uh, console players were playing 1.6.2, while PC players were playing 1.6.1 the whole time. But <laughs> consoles are generally way, way buggier than, um, than PC uh, patches in Skull. That, did that really just hit me? Come on. How? I did the, all the right things. All right, let's be cautious um, in this Chimera fight. Let's not get super cocky. Although, I will say, um, my surprise box is going to obliterate her. Also, we didn't get Sin. A little unfortunate. But look at our stats for the record. Like, our magic is perfectly fine. Um, very usable. So it's not the end of the world that we didn't get it. Uh, I think we're fine. I don't think there's any worry about our damage. It's part of the reason why I'm so confident in Sin being, like, a fun mechanic, but not a necessary mechanic. Watch this. Obliterated. It's like a gajillion damage. No big deal. Uh, we do lunge forward with that attack. I'm going to be cautious here. No. N oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, we lunge forward pretty much no matter what I do. I think we're fine here. No, we are not fine here. Let's move out the way. And not be stupid, like I said. That's the... <laughs> you know, all, all we have to blame if we lose our this run is ourselves, frankly. Though Act 4 can be pretty nasty, so maybe I shouldn't... You know, maybe I shouldn't give you guys the ammo to be like, Hacks, you suck! You suck! You lost! Like, Act 4 can be pretty nasty. Okay, let's be careful. And she is dead. Beautiful. We got a critter even. Look at this. This poor little squirrel caught up in all this madness. What did he do? Also, isn't it like... It, it's kind of on the... Not even on the low. On like the absolute up and up. Kind of screwed up. Also, I should maybe take... Nah. Nah. Uh, that we turn like sentient creatures into animals. And then they're just stuck as animals for the rest of their existence. Like you're literally turning human beings into like... Like bunnies. And they just are stuck like that for the rest of their existence. And when you think about it, it's, you know, not, it's, it's kind of ethically, <laughs> it kind of, uh, it's a little messed up. It's like, you know, honestly, he'd probably rather die than be turned into a, a rabbit forever. It's like, does he still have a, any humanity left when he's a rabbit? Is like a human mind trapped in a rabbit's body? Probably not. It's probably just a squirrel. Yeah, man, it's messed up. Skull's the bad guy. He is. He kills his dad. That's not good. <laughs> it doesn't matter that his dad was like, you know, ravenous and like bloodthirsty. It still, still pops, bro. How are you going to kill pops? Oh, we got the Dark Elite, and he got instantly critterified, which I haven't gotten a lot of those on this run. I feel like most of the time when I'm doing this, I get way more critter Dark Elites. Oh, there's more. The backtracking in this game is ridiculous. Also, let's see. Yes, okay, beautiful. I wanted to see if that would work, and it did. <laughs> Useless, but those are like that's the kind of stuff you come to this channel for. I always say it. Dumb, like very in the weeds, stuff like that, where it's like, you know, like, I'll do, like, a little platform cheese, and, and all, my audience goes wild. They're like, Hacks, that was awesome! It's like, yeah, I'm pretty good with it, you know? You know, who else is going to do this, like, ridiculous platform cheese? You know, no one else even knows it exists. It just exists in my dome. Also, look at our stats. Lots of critters happen in here. Popping off big time. This is the best act for the critters, for the record. Because um, you can critter the bubbled enemies. And before hard mode came out and dark elites were a thing, the primary use for the slime staff, um, for one, is in the sneak minigame. 
where you know you can critterify the uh, the soldiers, but also in Act Four, um, dealing with like bubbled enemies was like the main reason that people enjoyed the slime staff. In normal mode, the slime staff is a good fun item. In hard mode, it's genuinely incredible. And you know, if you haven't used it yet, I would say most of the time, unless you already have some crazy stuff, if you find a very early slime. Uh, it's worth deleting everything to get it. In Act 1, outside of Act 1, I think it's harder to justify. Unless, of course, your build sucks or something and you're looking to completely rebuild it from the ground up. Then it makes sense. But, I don't know. Generally speaking, in Act 1, if you see the slime, it's worth it, in my opinion. Alright, we're finally going to buy some inscriptions here. Mana Cycle for sure. And anything else? Probably poison, actually. Because it gives me more benefit than any of this stuff. Treasure could obviously be pretty good, but I'm feeling poison. Why not, right? A little extra damage here and there. Also, um, I'm going to juggle this. I actually think I'm going to stick with the Cyclops. I've really been enjoying it. I think Battle Totem overall is better, but we also use Battle Totem a ton. And, um, I don't know, people sleep on Cyclops still. It's not super good, but it's not bad. It's quite good. Or, <laughs> I guess it kind of... It, it's decent, you know? Um, the 20 shield is helpful. And if you can get Heritage going, you can get, like, pretty decent uptime with your 20 shield. And that's pretty nice. And also, Cyclops does more damage than Battle Totem. So that's also worth considering. All in all, good Quint. Not as good as some of the other defense quints, but still pretty good. Is that a... Yes, it is. Demon Hunter. He's here. He got me. You jerk. You got stunned. I got you, and now you're dead. How do you feel about that? Continue to take Bone Rooms. I'm not going to correct myself. It is Bone Rooms. We're feeling good, man. We're cruising. We're feeling nice. Things are, things are looking up. They've been looking up the whole time. From the beginning, this run felt good, and you know, it never, it's not slowed down even a little. The Melanophobia, especially. Like, even after we got Collection Desire, and like, you think our stat scaling is done, it's not. <laughs> Melanophobia carrying. Is that, okay, I was about to say, if that's a Halfling, I might free her. I don't know if we're going to get, I probably get a better opportunity after Act 4. We're going to go ahead and free her, though. And if I passed her on the way, shut up. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say, shut up, I know. <laughs> Like, I know! I know what I'm doing! <laughs> I'm just joking, by the way. Uh, that probably came off meaner than I meant it to. I actually appreciate when my audience, um, you know, uh, reminds me of stuff. Because, like, it, it, I, I am a forgetful person at times. Um, although, don't backseat. You know, once I start live streaming, that's going to have to be a rule in my chat. Because I have a feeling that's going to be a thing. As it is in a lot of, uh, a lot of gaming, you know, viewer, streamer communities. Backseat gaming drives me crazy. And it's very common. And people don't do it maliciously or anything. You know, people do it with good intentions, but backseat gaming is the worst. If you're a backseat gamer, you, you gotta stop. Okay. That was a long transition. I don't know why. All right, who we get? Okay, the ninja. He's just trying to prove that he doesn't suck. All right. All right, I learned my lesson. Please leave me alone. I, I, I for, you know, I'm sorry, okay? What more do you want? You're annoying. You, you've you successfully been buffed. You're no longer the pushover that I used to uh, make fun of you for being. Though I have a feeling he's not going to be able to do too much to me here. But I was wrong. <laughs> like, he, you've proved your point. Though, poison, um, if you have, like, a status that leaves, like, a aura on the enemy, it makes him a lot easier to fight, actually. Sorry, I'm just uh, making sure I don't... Because these, these can hurt you quite badly. Where is he? Oh, okay. Ow, okay, okay. Everything was going so well, and then we just took a bajillion damage for no reason. And when it's not over yet, either, it can still take more damage. So let's just be careful. He's dead. Okay. Okay, we're punting people. <laughs> um, I guess I've been doing that the whole time. Like, I'd never noticed it until now. Bone shards, I guess. On the way out here, we've kind of gotten screwed. In our bone shards, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Like I'm, I like that is like the most nitpicky thing about this run. Like this run's insane. So, also I am scaling my damage. I'm greedy. 
I, I want my damage to be insane at the end of this run, and it kind of already is, but we're not done. You might be saying, Haxa, you have low HP. It makes sense to heal at least a little. I know, I was thinking about it. Don't, you know what? I know, but I decided to take the fun, greedy route. Also, it's paying off. I'm not going to lie. Did you see that? We just destroyed... Literally none of them got to summon their friends, which is not a, a common occurrence. You know, generally they at least get something going, but not that time. Boom, boom, and boom. What cr What? What did we critter there? A tentacle, maybe? That was odd. You're not getting anyone either. If we can get a decent amount of bone shards on the way out here, we'll be able to... Um, get our also uh, this is like my favorite critter in the whole game uh crittering that guy because this is like a very annoying room most of the time but if you can just critter him it's like nothing you know it's free because then this guy shows up though he might have already gotten crittered i think he did actually ah oh, he got me how that's that's cheating i'm not gonna lie you need to get out here sir you're trying to rain on my parade but it's not gonna happen also be a little cautious here get that look go back and search for some hp and there was hp so it paid off um i'm trying to think if there's an omen i would want probably not um i can't think of anything we'll save an we'll save the omen run or a omen run because it's not like i'm only ever like omens are pretty much a regular part of me now like i i take them about as often as i uh, take other stuff as long as it makes sense for the run Obviously, I owe you guys an omen challenge run, eventually. Um, it, when it comes to omen three, it's literally a luck-based thing, um, in my opinion. Though I, I you know, you know, I've seen other people, um, like tell me that you know omens are. Here's the thing, okay? I'm a content creator. It's a little different for me. Um, like, I can't just like start an omen 3 challenge and then die and then start over a million times in one day because like i would never get the video finished um i have to get the right run at the right time because um like when i'm if I, we, oh, i'm saying if when i'm streaming it'll be a lot easier to um to do something like that like a omen challenge because then like all of my losses are still content but um, any run that I get that doesn't make it past, like, Joan, generally, though I did upload a Joan loss the other day, but, um, I usually scrap them because I just don't want to upload a terrible run that, like, no one enjoys. So, uh, Omen 3 challenges are going to be a little iffy, but once I start streaming, it'll be a lot easier to do something like that. So, you know, just look forward to that. That's when we'll probably start doing stuff like that more. But it's going to require, like, Bone Shield. It's going to require Coward, Heirloom. Lots of padding to uh, prevent the insta-loss. Anyway, it's Joan time. You know, I've been saying this lately. Like, it's honestly not even worth announcing her. She's going to get obliterated. I am not even slightly concerned. So let's just go and destroy her. Okay. Yeah, Joan is just too casual for me. Like, she's nothing. She's worthless. We're a little poor here. What was it? I, s I said I wanted to get something instead of put pocket later. I can't remember what I said. I'll probably recognize it when I see it. Was it go getter? It might have been go getter. I don't even know if I care about go getter. Hook pocket's probably better. And it's certainly not worth the money. I don't think we're we're kind of poor, so it's like we don't have a lot of money to um to like kind of just leave like you know spare like that. Also, we just obliterated that. Like, they stand zero chance, these pedestals. They're going to uh, drag it out as long as they possibly can. But, uh, I, like I, I, I told y'all, this would be a thrashing. Let me past, Joan. You've lost. I'm so sick of her and her constant, like, dragging things out. She thinks she's so clean with it. She's so good with it. Like, she just doesn't realize how much she sucks. You've fallen off, Joan. I'm being completely honest. Like, you used to be the terror of my runs. Now you're just nothing. You're absolutely nothing. You're worthless. You've lost your touch. And I feel zero sympathy for you. All right, John. You know, I said my piece. Now I'm going to kill you. Oh, come on, John. She's doing the thing. 
Actually, the more I think about it, the more I might get Go-Gator instead of Put Pocket. Um, I have a lot of item effects that would greatly benefit from this. Let's see if we can't stun her and then hit her with this. She's going to ultimate here. She is not going to ultimate here. She's kind of throwing, I'm not going to lie. Joan, you're throwing. Not that I'm complaining. I'm kind of glad you are because you suck and I don't want to fight you for very long. Okay, she threw. No ultimate from Joan. What? Maybe I stunned her at the right time and it skipped it or something. That's a thing that can happen. All right. Um, okay, <laughs> hang on. What do we get rid of here? I could ditch this and buy mutants. What are my bot inscriptions? It's mana cycle and uh, poison. Okay, that seems very simple then. Get rid of this, buy mutants. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Why, dude? Okay, that... Do I want this? <clears throat> do I go back on the poison path? I don't think so. I don't think so. It. That's a trap. That's a trap. It's a fun trap, but it's a trap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that. Alright. Um, sell this. Uh, I want to make sure I have enough money here to... Buy the inscription. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I screw myself here? We might not have enough. Oh, we do have treasure. Okay, we're going to have enough. Probably just barely, though. And we did get the max scale art damage here. Look at this freaking damage percent. <laughs> In both directions, for the record. It's just that easy, folks. Like, there's no reason... Like, it's sin is just down bad. Like, this is the... My magic is, like, my standard... Or it's, like, above my standard for being able to easily defeat the Dark Hero. Like, it's very interesting how powerful this run truly is. We got the treasure here. This is probably gonna... It, it will put me over the threshold, I'm fairly certain. But just barely. We may have even been literal pennies off of being able to do this. We would have been pennies off. <laughs> Oh my good lord. Uh, mutant, yes, mutant. Alright, beautiful. Look at this. We weren't even done, for the record. We still needed to fix our inscriptions. Look at this. <laughs> well, that's just beautiful, frankly. Um, so yeah, that's my kit. Let me make sure I don't screw up this um, OBS shit. I am good to go. We got the screenshot. My kit is insane. This is like one of the strongest runs I've had in a while. Um, I'm going to clickbait this like crazy. Like, you can't stop me. You know, you, you're like, hacks, don't do it. Click bidding is bad. Nope, I'm going to do it. It's going to be awesome, too. And you're going to click it. Like, don't lie. You're going to click it. If click baiting, yo, you guys are the ones that make click baiting a thing because you click the videos. Hacks, it's immoral. No. It is what it is. You got to play the YouTube game. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um... So yeah, this run is insane. Uh, I mean, I've already uh, said enough about it, but I I'm gushing over this run. It's one of the most uh, fun runs I've had in a long time. We have everything. We got critters. We got items coming out the wazoo. We got stats coming out the wazoo. Where is that? That's coming from the shield, I think. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we, we now know where that's coming from. Anyways, 20 melanophobia, which is kind of, I think, a low roll on melanophobia. Maybe even, maybe an average roll. I don't know. Um, Rift Blade, Collection of Desire, Go Getter at the very end. Just everything is going so right. So what is going to happen to this Dark Hero? And I never should get ahead of myself. I could completely flub this, but I have a very good feeling about this fight. So let's go in there and see how it goes. Oh, my tea is still warm. That's how you know, man. That's how you know the run is hot with it. All right, sir. Bring it on. Don't make stupid mistakes, basically, is going to be the name of the game here. Treat him with some respect every once in a while, you know? Like, not like that. When he does stuff like this, give him space. That's his one of his nastier moves. It's not so bad in phase one, but the later you get into the fight, he can really ruin your day with that attack. He only dealt five to me there thanks to the swap. Hit him with that. Ooh, don't want to get hit by those. Oh, he grabbed me, and he... Something happened. Why does that happen sometimes? It's very strange. I don't quite understand it. Not that I'm complaining, for the record. I'm, I love it when it happens. 
Because that is his most unfair move. There it goes again. I think it has something to do with this. I feel like it happens a lot whenever I'm playing the shield. Alright. Good stuff so far. Alright. The perfect OSU segment. Hit him with this. Hit him with that. Swap. Hit him with this. Hit him with that. And then just basic him until he's dead. Mm, he's not dead just yet. Alright, he's trying to grab me, I think. Okay, that was unfortunate. A little bit of damage there, but who cares? We're on to the actual meat of the fight, the dark hero. My man is going to go crazy. But am I worried? No. Though maybe I should be. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I love this song. Every time I'm playing off screen, I actually play it, the game muted because I'm listening to other things in the background. I think I've talked about this before. I always turn up the, uh, the music whenever I fight the dark hero. It's so good, dude. And if you're unaware, um, listen to the normal heroes um, song, like the, the phase two of the normal hero fight, and then listen to this song. They're like mirrors of each other. It's really cool. Um, which obviously, you know, any good OST is going to do stuff like that. But, you know, Skull is no exception. It's an incredible OST. Um, I hope they release this song soon. Oh, so let's swap here. Be careful with it. Keep just beating the hell out of this Mother Hubbard. <laughs> that was kind of disrespectful. I'm not going to lie. Um, I want to be out the shield whenever he starts siphoning. Um, which is now. He is not even... I'm just walking away. Honestly, you kind of fell off, sir. Like, I'm going to be real. Dark Hero fell off. As he beats the hell out of me. Uh, he's probably going to go into phase 3 here. Nope. My man is skipping the phase 3. Also, did you... Oh, we crittered it! Oh, we got a goose! Oh, we got a goose! Oh, dude, that goose is getting in the windscreen. That's so good. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. Oh, uh, dude, that's the perfect windscreen. Give me another one of those, please. I want to get another critter here. Swap so we can be a tackle dasher. If you didn't know, um, I've talked about this plenty. So, you know, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know. Tackle dashers are actually better, be <laughs> better at uh, dodging the siphon than um, non-tackle dashers. It's interesting. Also, we have to dodge this for real. I'm going to do it as the uh, shield, though. Urgh, we screwed it up, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, this, the, the last second swap was probably a bad idea. And he is out of here. He's out of here. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, Mr. Goose, you're coming with me to this windscreen. We did this together. Um, Honestly, I'm just going to walk with my goose. My pet goose. Beautiful. Beautiful. The critter, dude, that's so good. Look at this, dude. This is a rare windscreen. Um, to get the critter on that is awesome. What a absolute exemplification of this run. Beautiful run, wonderful run, awesome. I had so much fun, GGs. Um, like this is like a rare run, you know, one in like five hundred or so. Obviously, these numbers I'm pulling out of my butt, but I've played enough skull to have like a general idea. To have everything go so right, especially literally from the get-go, that does not happen very often. Like, <laughs> it does not happen as often as you would like it to. So, we had a rare run here, and it was a lot of fun. Um, what can I say about it? It was insane. Um, you know, we got literally everything. We got uh, Evil Sword Kyrian, we got Fulgent Dawn, we got Pot of Greed, we got a Clone Snap with arms on it, and all these natural arm stuff happening. A Golden Sword... Um, the slime staff, Cyclops was putting in some good work, um, just as a damage quint basically, which it's not a bad damage quint for the record. It does a decent chunk of damage. Shield and clown together were really nice. Uh, the shield making up for like the clown's horrible swap with his excellent swap. Um, the only thing we didn't have, which we would have loved to have is sin. Although I still don't even necessarily think we needed it all that much. The run was ridiculous without it. Although one thing I'm noticing, uh, something I said at the start is you kind of want to go damage percent with clown. I think clown is better as a crit percent 
a crit item skull. So like gunpowder sword, um, invisible knife, stuff like that. The run I did off screen with Sin Clown was one of those runs and it was doing so much damage. I couldn't even believe what I was seeing. Like it was insane. Um, so yeah, we still have uh, more to explore with this character. Um, he's very, very good in uh, the Dark Mirror. Like very good. Uh, and I mean, I think we've said everything we need to say. The run was ridiculous with it. Like honestly, uh, super high roll to end all high rolls. And it's going to be a while before we get this lucky again. We're kind of owed some bad luck now. The game was making up for the horrific Balrog run. And uh, tomorrow might be bad. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I had fun, though. And I hope you guys did as well. Um, hmm, what is there anything I want to say here at the end? Obviously, the stuff I said during the stream. Uh, stream, hopefully, coming soon. I just need to get this freaking computer. Uh, hopefully, that happens soon. Um, also, look at our kind of overall low damage. It's very interesting when this happens. I don't know why it happens. It's weird though look at the max damage i wonder that must have been from cyclops or maybe from shield i don't think the clown is the kind of skull that deals like a massive big number so that had to come from something and my guess honestly is cyclops because quints are kind of weird in the dark mirror um they do a lot of damage i've come across a ton of glitches or you know i don't know if they're glitches or not but um very weird happenings with quintessences and we've experienced it on screen um i probably should make a video about it but um oh yeah uh tell me if you want the shorts um or if you'd be interested in them I, they'd be very different from my normal content a lot more condensed obviously and edited um so if you're interested in that let me know uh, i already have one potentially in the works that i um uh, you know recorded off camera so we'll see about that. And I think that's all I have to say. Also, I need to get a TikTok. <laughs> that's, this is all me stuff though. Um, though I imagine the people who listen to these rants at the end are people who are like loyal and enjoy me and like are here for me. So, um, you, you know, chime in, feel free. Especially if you're a big fan, which if you are shout outs, love you. Um, but that's all I have to say. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.